So guys, second video of the day for you. Told you, absolutely hammering this dark corner content now. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So what's happening guys? I hope you're all doing well. Little second video of the day for you. Told you, absolutely hammering this content now. So we're just going to have a quick little chat now about VC's live the other day when he had um, that girl on who told the story. We did do a video with the clips, etc. So we're not going to go too deep. It's more about Bobby and Bobby's actions on the uh, on the live. Now, out of all of them, in the beginning, I did actually have more respect for Bobby. I actually half liked him because when I did fall out with video, Craig, him along with, obviously, James, I still like James, as you all know, from Bare Knuckles Scene UK. Big shout out to James from Bare Knuckles Scene UK. Um, I thought he was all right, you know what I mean? Because he reached out to me, sent me a little message and that. So I thought he was all right. <clears throat> now I'm starting to wonder if he was part of the reason and how they found my old Facebook. Because I only recently noticed I still had him on my personal Facebook, Bobby, because he sent me a friend request a while ago. So I've had to delete him. But the way he was acting on that live, the way he was trying to break up the woman's story, deflect away from it. And I have watched Narrative's video. And what Narrative said was absolutely spot on, where he was saying, oh, video Craig's a braver man than him because he wouldn't have gone back. Like, pff, the hypocrisy and stuff at this corner is, is, is crazy. I mean, like I said, I've never really gone too hard on Bobby and I didn't really want to, but like the whole cup situation, it's right. He was completely fine and, oh, it was just an accident. What he did, um, weaning a cup in his kitchen on a live, but you terrorised another man for it. You're sat on the live trying to deflect away from the absolutely brutal assault that your friend committed on a woman, and then he went back and did it again, and you're trying to make jokes of it, stop the woman from speaking, and make light of it. You know, just trying to change the whole direction and flow of the conversation to probably stop her from getting the full story out, stop her from saying stuff, and trying to make it more light-hearted and more of a joke when it's not light-hearted and it's not a joke that woman would have gone through years of trauma over that yeah i'm glad that she's clearly over it that just shows like a respect and a, a good character of that woman that she's a strong person it doesn't show that video craig's a good guy so yeah you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments anyway but like i say bobby there it's true what narrative used to say about him he's always on there banging on about awareness but it's, but oh, spread the awareness, buy me a coffee, spread the awareness, buy me a coffee. As Phil and Wee Man said, I've just watched Phil and Wee Man's video as well. He's another great channel in this corner who should do more views. So anyone who's not subscribed to Phil and Wee Man, get yourself over to Phil and Wee Man, another good channel. Speaks the facts, keeps his videos short, sweet, simple, to the point, boom. Spot on bloke, I like him. So, yeah. Bobby and the rest of the gang, anyone with a brain pretty much knew anyway, but they have fully showed the true colours on that live there. Deflecting and minimising away from that woman's trauma to keep their friend, their idol, still up on his perch where everyone can go into his chat and make out he's some great guy and try and run down other people for much less than what they've done. Just my opinion, guys, but you guys leave me yours in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like if you haven't already. Also, guys, Instagram, if you're not following on Insta, get yourselves over. I have been slacking over there recently, if I'm honest, but I am going to try and uh, get a couple of reels up on there over the next couple of days. So go and check out the Insta for us. We're also on Facebook, Journeys with JDP. We'll see you all on the next video, guys. Peace.